In fact, I give most of my children away, first opportunity I get. Hello everyone! Denver's getting lonely because he's only got this one stupid child to keep him entertained. And that's not good enough, so today, she's gonna get married again. Who are we gonna marry today? Everyone's favorite, basement dwelling vampire Sebastian, of course. Haven't seen him in a long time, mostly because he spends his time in the basement. Oh hey, give me one sec. We don't have time, Sebastian, this is important. I'm sure you're busy with whatever you're doing. Yeah, you know what? He's busy, I should leave. Forget him. Idiot. Where are you going? Uh, I'm not here to talk to you as you play on your computer. Sorry, I had to finish this line before I lost my train of thought. Yeah, whatever. Can we get to something important now? I'm in a hurry. I didn't realize you'd have a heart event so early. Uh, let's ask him what he's working on, because I don't want to compliment the decor in his room, because it's terrible. I do freelance work as a programmer, which is a fancy way of saying you write code in your spare time for games you're never going to finish. How's that working out for you? Can't help but notice you're still in your parents' basement. That was an instant message from Sam. I guess he wants to hang out. Okay, bye. I don't really feel like going out today. No kidding. I can see you're pretty comfortable down here. Oh, and it's the soulless ginger. Hi, Denver. Hello, ginger. I find it funny that the soulless ginger gave birth to a vampire. Sebi, I know you don't like it when I come in here, but I ran into Abigail at the store and she said she was looking for you. Everyone's looking for him. He never comes out of his basement. They want to make sure he's all right. Did you tell her I'm working? She did, but she just laughed because you don't really work. I did, but she said she'd probably stop by anyway. Yep, yeah, well, get used to it. You're going to have a lot of uninvited guests coming into your room for the next few weeks. Sigh, no one takes my job seriously. Well, that's because you don't. Get a real job and people will actually believe you. No one ever bothers Maru when she's working at the clinic. That's because she has a fancy degree for that and that's a real job. Does everyone think I'm just surfing the web all day? Well, it takes one to know one. That's definitely not what I do or anything. Ask him why he doesn't want to see his friends. Yes, let's get into that. Are you worried you'll turn them into a vampire too? I like having friends, I just need a lot of time alone to balance out the social stuff. Sam's the opposite, he goes crazy if he's alone for too long. Yep, he annoys me too. Wish I could remove him from the game, someone make a mod for that. Maybe that's why I like computers so much, they're engaging, straightforward, and unselfish, quite the opposite of a lot of people I know. Wow, that's a very deep thought. Not like me at all. I couldn't be more selfless. In fact, I give most of my children away, first opportunity I get. Well, I should get back to work, I need to get this module finished by tomorrow. It's 6 a.m. But, yep, yeah, whatever, back to your Wikipedia. One of the things that's both good and bad about Sebastian is he's always doing this. He's easy to find, but if you're not friends with him, it's really hard to get a hold of him because he's in bed all day. I was just thinking about you. Could you not while you're lying in bed? Anyways, let's give him some gifts. Now, of course, because he's so weird, these are the gifts he likes. Frozen tears, obsidian, pumpkin soup, sashimi, and void eggs. And of course the universal loves, everyone loves prismatic shards except for Haley because she's stupid. Now out of all these, these are all somewhat hard to get, but the sashimi is by far the easiest, just get the recipe, you could turn any fish into sashimi, it's that easy. Just don't do that with legendary fish, otherwise I'll label you an idiot. Here you go, one sashimi for my special new friend. I really love this, how did you know? Wikipedia, you should know, you're on the internet right now. Well here's the problem, somehow I'm at max love with everyone, despite not having even done anything. I'm maxed out with everyone, except for Haley, who apparently doesn't like me that much, and I haven't even met half the town, yet the other half's in love with me. Anyways, there's Sebastian, so I guess we don't have to give him any gifts, we can pretty much just get married. So you know what? At this point, since we're already there, I'm not going to bother to give him any more gifts, we're just going to skip to his 10 heart event, and then get married, because I don't want to do the rest of it, because Sebastian sucks. Magic. It's nighttime. 10 heart event. Go to the mountains between 8pm and midnight. Linus? You know who I wanted. This is the wrong heart event. I mean, beggars can't be choosers. I'll take Linus too, but not what I expected. I can't even skip this one. Damn it, Linus. You ruin everything. I guess he does also technically fit into the role of people who don't have a job. Anyways, no for the real heart event. Cool bike. I bet that's fun on dirt. Hey, Denver. I was just about to head out. Well, don't let me stop you. Get out of here. Hop on. I want to show you something. Well, that's a little forward of you, don't you think? I only met you yesterday. Yeah, whatever. I'll jump on a bike on a dark night so we can drive past the moon. Am I wearing a scarf? Someone's wearing a scarf. Very fashion forward of me. Ah, beautiful view. Not really a good place to take a motorcycle, but I mean, what do I know? That's Zuzu City in the distance. Yeah, it's beautiful. Where are we now? I come here when I want to get away from everything and just think. 
Isn't that what you do all day in your basement? You're a strange guy, you know that? Smoking will kill you, blah blah blah. Hopefully it works fast. So what do you think? You should quit smoking. You sound like my mom. Well, your mom's a lot smarter than you are. You're right though. I'm addicted to these things. It's not good. Nope, not at all. But you're not good either, so it kind of fits. The city used to draw me in, but now I'm finding myself happier at home in the valley. You mean in the basement, once again. Denver? I don't usually bring girls to this place. In fact, you're the only one. Well, Denver's such a special girl. I mean, how could you not? You know what I'm trying to say, don't you? Did you want to suck my blood? No. Oh, he's going for it. Cover your neck. And love happens. Time to get married, I guess. That's the only logical step in Stardew Valley. Once you actually kiss, you basically get married the next day. They rush things along, because there's not much else to do there. Small towns. Well, that was a nice first date. Nice of him to drive me home, not leave me out in front of the garage at midnight. Admittedly, that is actually one of the better heart events. I like that one. I always like the ones that take you to new areas, give you something different to look at, have a cool interaction with whatever NPC you're currently wooing. Anyways, let's go to bed. Tomorrow we're going to marry that idiot. Not marry him, but... Whoa, what? Oh yeah, nothing happened. Let's go to bed. Tomorrow, I'm going to find a mermaid pendant, and then we're going to go propose to him. Does baby want a spoiled egg? Here you go, eat this. No? Not allowed to eat stuff. Right. Wow, once again with the heart event. Really glad all my heart levels jumped up to maximum. Go away, dummy. I don't want you here. Everyone just wants a piece of Denver. What can I say? The most amazing girl ever. Just to be sure before I commit to this. Thanks, I like this. Okay, confirmed. He might not actually be a vampire. Let's get married now. I accept. Three days, blah blah blah. We'll check that out in three days and see what happens. I just realized he looks like Michael Jackson right here. Maybe it's the white mittens he's wearing, but something about it seems like Michael Jackson. I'm surprised he can handle being around this many people at once. Well, reception in the basement, everyone. Meet us there. Hey, you know what's really cool? Just go ahead and park your motorcycle on the farm. That's no big deal. Just wherever you want. Don't even ask me first. That's cool. Uh, by the way, this house comes with a kid already in it, so hope you're cool with that too. Hey, want some coffee? Yes, I do actually. Sebastian's now the best person ever. I needed some. Woke up early from a nightmare and I just couldn't fall back asleep. Yeah, 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 I get it. Very cool. Troubled sleeper. I get it. Oh, look, you even brought your basement with you. How fun. You know, I could just get you a basement under this house. And you could just stay down in there. I could even lock the doors. That would be mutually beneficial for both of us. Hey, you look like you could use a day-old coffee, am I right? Thanks, I like this. Good, because I don't like you. I'm going to take a walk today. I need some time to myself. I'll see you in the evening. I literally went to bed yesterday as soon as I woke up. What do you need more time for? Well, I'm going to give him gifts. The best way to have a kid? Give people lots of gifts. I'm cheating so I can do it like this. Really, once you're married, just make sure your spouse is sufficiently happy and then to sleep. And I think it's like a 1 in 20 chance they'll want to have a kid. Sometimes it happens on your wedding night. Sometimes it takes a while though. Knowing Sebastian, he's awfully difficult. He's going to be a while. It'll probably be this time next year by the time we actually get to this. Mostly because he spends his nights stalking other villagers. Finally, there it is. Should we have a baby Denver? Yes, of course. My love children. Especially this other one is so lonely. I don't even know where it is right now. Hello, my above ground basement dweller. I'm debating whether I should work or just read comics all day. Oh, that's adorable. You pretending to work? Hey, do we have any pizza in the freezer? I'm hungry. Go check yourself, idiot. What do I look like? At this point, Denver is technically pregnant, so I'd better make the best of these last two weeks and party it up. Oh, unless no one's here. Well, that's okay. I have a fix for that too. Denver likes beer and so does baby. Hey, it'll still let me drink it. That's kind of funny. I wonder how many of these it's going to take. What happens? Minus one speed because I'm tipsy. Well, I'm not tipsy enough yet. I want to be Pam levels of inebriated. Drinking, pregnancy, and bombs are a winning mixture. Just ask anyone. Well, I've had my fun. Now I'm just going to sleep until the baby's done. This one, to be fair, probably will turn out better than the last one still. Because the last one, not very useful. Just kind of crawls around being dumb all day. Wish they'd grow up. What are you still doing up? It's past your bedtime. Go to bed. I'm going to take a walk today. I need some time to myself. I'll see you in the evening. Okay. Don't come back till tomorrow then. I'm holding you to your word. I feel like it rains every day with Sebastian in my life. Good morning, I see you're taking care of baby number one. Sweetheart, can't you tell? You're pregnant. Uh, yeah, I'm perfectly aware of that. What are you getting at? Maybe it's the daily binge drinking that's got him so concerned. What does he know though? He's a vampire. 
How long does this pregnancy thing take? What is this? Why is there wood on the floor over here? I won't ask questions. That's free wood. Maybe it was an early gift for the baby? During the night, you gave birth to a baby boy. I bet that was fun. What should we name him? A boy has no name. Oh, you have to give him a name. Well, that's an easy choice. No big deal. Now, let's see what Sebastian thinks of New Moron. New Little Moron. Now the wood's out here. I don't know why wood's escaping my house. Well, this is the new one. Looks pretty happy in there. Moron is sleeping. That's all Moron's ever gonna do. Look at this one. Quick, Sebastian. Now's your chance. I've got it trapped. Two beautiful children. We've come a long way, haven't we? Yeah, we started with one, and it's been an exciting two weeks. How about that? Damn, you just can't hold these things down. Don't know what the point is. Anyways, hello. We've come a long way, Denver. Look at our family. To be honest, I never really thought I'd end up in this situation. Yeah, to be fair, it's not going to last very long, so enjoy it while you can. Anyways, I've had my fun with this. I just wanted to see what it was like being the female that got pregnant and had a baby. It's pretty much the same experience. Nothing really changes that much, but that's okay. Still enjoyable. Sebastian is always amusing. If you haven't seen my channel before, check it out now if you're still here. Lots of other videos in there. New videos out all the time. New games coming up too. A lot of good ones coming up in the very near future. Keep it up with suggestions, comments, blah blah blah. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.